place has so much potential. Can't wait to decorate. I got a list of stuff that'll really complete the vibe, you know? We ain't exactly got the budget for home decor right now. No problem. There's a nice cheap way. Come with me to Fort Cullen and I'll show you. There's a bunch of cool collectibles around town that would look amazing in the church. All we have to do is find a thing we want, snap a picture, and boom, it'll just show up there. Really? How does that work? It works. Yeah, but how? It just works. Don't overthink it. Do you know someone with like a 3D printer or something? I do, actually. Remember Teddy? Your ex? The guy with the ponytail? Other ex, Teddy. The woman with the mohawk. <laughs> So here's how it works. I think the Western Golden Cannon would rock at the church. Just take a picture of it. Let's head back and see what we got. So, Teddy. She was cool. She still is. I was thinking maybe next time we do a karaoke night, I'll invite her. Unless she's back with Melissa. Ugh, Melissa. She has a good heart. for the rest of the shit on that list, huh? This place has so much potential. Saints are a real organization. I feel like I should have a better understanding of, you know, all the basic skills involved in day-to-day -day operations. You betcha. And that means... I was hoping you could teach me to shoot. Oh, sure can do. Meet me at the old quarry. Hey, wow, Eli, you set this range up yourself? Yep, I didn't have any click pigeons, so I had to make do with what I could find. Nice. What weapons are you gonna use? Oh, I'm more of a book learner. I've done some research already. I just wanted to watch you, ask questions, and take notes. That's not really how you learn to shoot. Hey, everybody learns differently. Now, the first thing I saw in my research was that stance is very important. Sure. You gotta have a stance. So what's a good stance? I mean, this? I can't describe it, I just do it. Watch.
Next, my research said keep your eyes open when you shoot. Sure. I like to pretend there's a little white dot or crosshairs on whatever I'm shooting at, and then I just aim for it. Like this. breath control. I read a lot about exhaling when you pull the trigger. And God, Eli, in a big firefight, I pay no attention to how I'm breathing. I just... Well, look. Okay. And my research is the trigger instead of pulling it? What the fuck's the difference? There's just a feel to it. Look. Quality. Nice. Hey, what's up with those trucks? Looks like Marshall. Uh. Reagan, we're near one of their black ops sites. Trespassers on Marshall land will be shot! Grab a gun! Hey, I'm pretty good at this! You're doing great! Hey, I got one! Good job, pal! See what I mean about the dot thing? This is our piece of abandoned gun! That's right, asshole! You are clear game now! It is against regulations to allow civilians on the Marshall Land. Dad, is it going? You won't get away with our training secrets! More trucks coming, let's take it! Ah, this may be a tad much for a beginner. Get in the car. on learning than I was hoping for. Hey, no, you did great out there. But I think I'll leave the car group shit to you for now. Howdy, Eli. What's up? I hereby invite you to the inaugural meeting of the Saints Board of Directors. Huh. Didn't realize we were going to be so corporate structury. There'll be donuts. Be right there. Okay. So we got the name, we got the home base, we got the logo. So that means next step is to find people that can shoot guns? No. Uh, so that means next step is to make connections with people that can shoot guns. Oh, come on, man. We want this thing to be more than a street gang. We want to be an organization, an institution, 
And that means we need to have our fingers in more pies. You got an idea where to start? As a matter of fact, I do. Okay, everyone's action item is to reach out to their contacts and see what new business opportunities you can find for the Saints. Shit. My contacts all got their own things going already. What about JR? Your partner's on his garage, right? Maybe he'll go all in with the Saints. No harm in asking. Great. What about you, Nina? I can't talk to any of my old Banteros contacts. But I do know some people who did business with them. I'm sure I can persuade them to do business with us instead. Nice. Kevin, you want contacts? I got contacts, baby. Okay, go be superstars. Meantime, I'm gonna finish going through that briefcase we got from John Plan. That thing's a treasure trove, let me tell you. Everyone, keep me posted on your progress. J.R., how'd you like to be a part of something big? My friends and I are starting a new venture. Sounds awful nice, but our current venture's in trouble. Those bad terrorists are cutting into our profits something fierce. I'll tell you what. Join our new thing, and no one's ever gonna mess with this garage again. Well, you take care of this bad terrorist problem, and I'll consider it. Deal. How are these Panteros fucking with our business? You name it. Undercutting costs, scaring off our customers. Sergio sent this jacked up mountain of a dude named Derek to run me out of business any way and every way he can. You take care of his toughs at the park, maybe you'll scare him enough to go mess with someone else. Say no more. Jim Rob's garage is off limits. Show your face there again, you're dead. The old man sent you? in the park. Well, I'll be. Let's go out to our supply lines next. Eric's got a crew with a train people and smuggling in crates of stolen parts. That's how they keep undercutting my prices. Don't worry. I got this. Feel free to blow up their cars, too. Panteros get real bugged by that. Hey, Eli. I'm fixing up a Pantero's problem for JR, then I think he's in. How's the rest of the team doing? Great. Kevin knows so many people. <laughs> Reagan, all he has to do is buy him coffee to get him to sign on. Well, I'm busting my ass torching Pantero's cars. Come on. You know you love it. I really do.
This ain't your territory, dumbass. It is now. You fuck with Jim Rob, you answer to the Saints. Take you, no problem! Sergio, Jim Rob's garage is under the Saints' protection. Jim Rob. Two for two, JR. Son of a gun, you still got it. Only thing left of his is Derek's HQ. It's down on the corner. Oh, hell's bells. You gotta get back here. Derek and his crew just rolled up on me. This is what you get for fighting back, old man. You get off of my land. Better hurry. Say this one last time. Stay away from JR. Behind! Oh. Settles Derek and his crew. Right thoughtful of them to bring the fight to us. So, what should I tell my friends? Are you in? I'm in. What do you call this new outfit? We're the Saints. Welcome aboard.
Well, we can count JR in. Uh, what is this? It's not board game night. No, this is where all our dreams come true. Don't say that. My dreams are pretty weird. While you were out talking to JR, I was going through the briefcase we got from John Bland, the real estate guy. Turns out the deeds of the church wasn't the only thing in there. As of now, we are the proud owners of a shit ton of empty lots all across town. That's real estate we can use to start up some new, um, entrepreneurial ventures. By which he means crimes. Fine, yes, crimes. Nice. You did say we need to have our fingers in more pies. I've got that covered. I spent the whole day baking my ass off. Okay, fine. They're empanadas. That's not a pie. It's in the pie family. Now I'm really hungry. Plan first, eat later. Right. So, how do we cover all this ground? One building at a time. So far, we've got the church. And Jim Robs. So what do we build next? Whatever we want. Okay, look, there's nothing cool about toxic waste. It's gross, it's probably gonna kill you, but that green stuff's gonna make us rich. Big companies drive their toxic waste here and pay us big bucks by the barrel. Then we dump it on the cheap. Now, my man with the plan is Jersey Dan. He did time for this kind of shit, so he knows what he's talking about. He'll fill you in. Dan, where are the trucks? Well, turns out we gotta get the trucks ourselves. Well? Why don't the customers bring them here? Our customers are respectable captains of industry. They don't want to be associated with the likes of us. Then to hell with them! Now hear me out. For an additional transport fee, I arrange to have them leave the trucks at places around the city. All you gotta do is drive them here. Fine. I'll get the trucks. And that's how you lead by example. I put the first one on the map for you. Uh, Nina? That you? A fucking Bandero stole my fucking car! Project car? Yes! This is Sergio stink all over it! I need your help! I'm getting my car back! With interest! On my way. He can't even change his own oil. Why is he with us? You want the wheel? I'm trying not to drive angry. So, any idea where they took your car? If they stole it, they're gonna chop it. But you know, sir, I want to make it personal first. Take it for a spin, drive this. Show the Panteros who's boss. The most likely place you do that is at the Colburn Hopefully we can catch him there before he carves it up. Knows what that car means to me. Damn. I don't know if I ever said this in so many words, but that guy is a first rate turd bucket. You've spent hours on that car. I've spent years on that car. That's why he took it. As far as he's concerned, I didn't betray Los Panteros. I betrayed him. He's got to make it hurt. I don't get it. If someone betrayed me, I'd just, you know, bang. Not that I want him to do that to you, just seems easier. That's not how it works with Los Panteros. 
You shoot someone in the face, they're dead. You fuck up their car, they're nothing. Here's a culvert. They ain't gonna be happy to see you. Becca. Glad you were here. Let's add some planes. professionals. Cut it up clean so they can sell it for parts. So you could rebuild it then? Eventually. Doesn't mean I won't take it out of their ass for putting me through the trouble. Hola, Gabriel. Where's my car? It's not here. We both know you chopped Sergio's special project. Don't look like he's gonna talk. He's our only fucking lead. Wait, what was it you said about Los Panteros? Shoot one in the face and they're dead. But fuck up their car. They're nothing. Wait, what? Oh, my paint job, my fucking paint job. Hey, okay, I'll talk. Sergio took your car to the quarry. What? Oh, no, 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 no. We gotta go. We gotta go now. Oh, what the fuck? I just spilled the beans! I told you what you wanted! Leave my car alone! What kind of monster are you? I already talked!
I don't get it. What's that mean? What's the quarry? It means Sergio doesn't want to chop my car. He doesn't even want to sell it for scrap. You mean he's gonna... Right over the edge. There's no fixing that. We don't stop him. That turd bucket. Hang on. We got all kinds of Panteros up our ass. For another workout. Please, 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 please. Got their goat on this one. Pantero's ain't gonna stop us now. Getting close. Step on it. I drove that car all the way here from Guadalajara. My family's so far away, you know? It felt like I was keeping part of them with me. She never let anyone else drive that car. Who? My mom. But when Kimo made her weak, I drove her around. Ah, uh, fuck. I promised her I'd take care of that car. Ella confiaba in me. Let's go. We can still catch up to him. Nah. If Sergio's gonna fuck with my family, I'm gonna fuck with his. Oh. 